In this quick lesson, I'll show you how to construct a truth table from a symbolic statement. Our question reads, construct a truth table for the statement P, and this operator here suggests a conjugation and, tilde P or not P, or Q. If P and Q are both true statements, find the truth value of P and not P or Q. The first thing that we want to do is find out the total number of rows in our truth table. And this technically denotes the total number of combinations. To do that, we'll take the formula 2 to the power of n, or 2 to the power of the number of statements. In our case, we have p and q only. So 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 4. Our truth table should have 4 rows. Now, in case you've never done this before, these are the logical operators that are normally used in statements. And they are ordered in their precedence. With that being said, I'm going to write down P and Q or give them their own column. So P, Q, and according to the order here, we have to now look at the parentheses. So take a look at the parentheses, and within these parentheses, negation takes priority. So I'll write down another column for tilde P or not P, and a column exclusively for tilde P or Q. Our last column will be for the whole statement. So P and tilde P or Q. The reason why this is important is because they tell us the total number of combinations. So one combination is that both of these are true. Another combination, this is true, that's false. The third combination is false and true. And the order doesn't matter here. The last combination is false and false. Now we know that the answer is going to be the first row because we're told in the question that both P and Q are true. So the purpose of this exercise is to see how these are not true. At this point, you want to fill in all the empty spots. Let's begin with this column. We have tilde P. So what you have to ask yourself is, is this correct? We start with the premise that P is true. So obviously this is not correct because the premise is that P is true. Similarly, if the premise here is P being true, then this has to be false. The premise here is that P is false, so this statement is true. And similarly, this statement is true because we start with the premise that this P is false, and that means that it's right. Next, we'll concentrate on this column, not P or Q, so either or. If you look at this column, not P is false, and Q in this column is true. You have one that's true that makes this true. So when it comes to OR statements, only one needs to be true for the statement to be true. So you're looking for either OR. Take for example this next row. Not P is false and Q is false, so neither of these are true. Moving on to the next row. Not P is true and Q is true. Both of these are true, which makes the statement true. Lastly, not P, that's true, and Q is false. Because one is true, this makes this true. And in our last column, P is true, and it is, and this also has to be true, and it is, so this is true. P has to be true, it is, but this one is false. Remember, this reads and, so both conditions need to be met. P is true here, but it's false here, automatically it's an F. P is true here, it's false there, also automatically a false. Therefore, the only true value is when P is true and Q is true, as assumed at the very beginning of this question. And there you have it. That is how to construct a truth table from a symbolic statement.